and the main reward he is promising ahead of you with that commitment of salvation the major reward that we cannot manage as people of Kasese, people of South Spring, sorry, that God is ready to give you is eternal life. Amen. Because that's what the Bible has, has told us. Then to us who are here, we who are gathered here, the beneficiaries and the non-beneficiaries, I'm seeing a few journalists here, you are not beneficiaries. <laughs> but, what I want to mention to you uh, is that Christians are called to serve others. Christians are called to do what? Serve. To serve others. And to do the above in order to serve others, you need the following. One, you need the inspiration for what you need to do. You need an inspiration. You don't need money. You don't need to any other thing. Number one, the driving force is inspiration. You need to be inspired. I don't think that these people know anything about the Bank of Uganda. I've had their story, we had enough time. We have had enough time to sit with the money. You need the inspiration. And once God inspires you to do something, please do it. Do it. Once God inspires you to do something, please do it. A few days ago, someone reminded me something that happened in church. He described two categories of people. This, these are our younger boys and men who operate the, the equipment, the pianists and others. That you know these people. If not 98 or 99.9 percent, they don't give offer to them. I don't know. I, I was reminded of that they don't give what offer to them because as people go to give offer to them, they, they 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 pretend to be very busy with the equipment until the time of offer to them has done what has ended. <laughs> I remind. I, I was reminded of that. Then number two, they reminded me about the church wardens. See, the, most of the church wardens don't give offer to them. They are busy collecting other people's offer to them, but they don't give what? Offer to them. Then I started seeing, I said, this may be true. This is a busy, busy, busy with the equipment and these church wardens. What am I trying to reflect at? As there is this call of inspiration, to serve others, we are priests, we are clergy called by God. Yesterday I was speaking to the Dasan Secretary, I think we were like four of us, the Dasan Secretary, Reverend Betty, and someone else. Then I said to you people, as we see this gift, really can't we also start one day we find ourselves, I gave an example of Mamanya Mbambu, the wife to the late Reverend was there. I tried to, we tried to get some money to construct their house. You know, they just are away from our home. So the hub that thing is becoming a staple for her, which you constructed at first. I said, why can't we move one day as clutter? And they hear that, yes, the house is there. She has not moved there because two things are missing. One is the kitchen, the other one is the, is the toilet. If we move, we would find ourselves constructing this house. And then she moves before Christmas or before I meet next year. Isn't that a service? Food for what? For thought. We need to have the inspiration to do what is required of us. And once we are given this inspiration, please take a step like what the step these brothers and sisters have taken. And taking a step, you must have the biblical enforcement for what you want to do. You must have the biblical reinforcement. What is God having for you? What is the word telling you? What are you learning from the rest? And what is the word of God speaking to our heart? Then you will move. Lastly, to God be the glory for what we have received today. 
May this loving God who is witnessing this function here continue to use the Nazarene family. May he continue to use the Nazarene family. And as he continues to use you, as I read through 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58, your labor will be paid for. Not paid for by human beings, but paid for 